Okay guys, today we're going to show you how to balance a chemical equation. And what we mean by that is we are going to make every element have the same number of atoms on both sides of the equation. Now when I say both sides of the equation, I mean on either side of the arrow. Okay? This side over here is called our reactants. That's what we start with. This side over here is called our products. That's what we're producing in the chemical reaction. So when I say both sides, it's separated by the arrow. So let's look and see what we have here. We have CH4, that's methane, reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Now let's count the atoms that we have. If we look on this molecule here, I have one black carbon atom. Okay? Over here, I have one black carbon atom. So our carbon currently, we have one on either side of the arrow. Let's look at our hydrogen. One, two, three, four hydrogens on this side of the arrow. Over here, we have one, two hydrogens on that side of the arrow. If I have four on one side and I have two on the other side, that equation is not balanced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce another water molecule here. All right? So now I have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms, and I still have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms on this side of the equation. So our hydrogen now is balanced. Okay? So, but by changing the hydrogen here by adding the water, I've also changed the number of oxygen molecules. So let's look at our oxygen on this side. I have one, two, three, four oxygen molecules. Over on this side, I have one, two oxygen atoms. Okay, so in order to make those the same, I'm going to introduce another oxygen. So now I have one, two, three, four oxygens on the right, or the left side of the arrow, and one, two, three, four oxygens on the right side of the arrow. So now they're the same, okay? So now that we've visually um, balanced the equation, let's put the numbers in front of our compound with our chalk. So I have one CH4 molecule here, okay? I have two oxygen molecules here. I have one carbon dioxide molecule here, and I have two water molecules here. So I put a two in front of the H2O, and I put a two in front of the oxygen. Mr. Sands, you have just a one, though. You said there was a one, but I don't see yes. the one. Okay, if there's nothing there, we're, it's like a, it's kind of a pretend one. If you want to put a one there, that is perfectly acceptable. If you want to put a one here, that is perfectly acceptable. Usually, though, if there's a one, we just leave it blank. So blank means one. Mr. Sims, what yeah, are you doing? I'm balancing. You're balancing. Oh, yes. hey, we're talking uh, about uh, balancing uh, 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 chemical equations. Yeah. You're not very good at that. You're moving around a lot. I, it's because I don't exercise. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I could do it well either because balancing <laughs> is like its own skill set. It is. So, okay, guys, All right. we're going to learn about how to balance chemical equations today, okay? So the goal is we want to have the same number of every atom or polyion on both sides of the equation, like yeah. you saw in the introductory video clip. So that's what we want to do. Okay. So, and we're going to learn how to do that. Okay, folks, it's accomplished by changing only the coefficient. Now, there's right. a new word, not the formula. Yeah, guys, the coefficient is that's the big number that we wrote in front of the chemical compound. Okay. So we had two H2Os. Right. That's this number. Right. You never change the formula of the compound. Right. Ever. Once you write it down. It's there for good. You never change it. You only ch uh, put coefficients in front for of For example, numbers. what he means by that is oftentimes you might see H2O and you say, well, I need one more oxygen, so I'm going to put another two right here. No! You come out to do that. Never! Why can't you do that? Because what that does is that changes. This is a different chemical. This is hydrogen peroxide. That is not water. And this is water. That's They're right. totally different compounds, so you can't do that. Can't change the compound. The only number you can change is the number in the front. It's called a coefficient. In math class, you probably understand that. If you have a 2x, the 2 is the coefficient. Yeah. In algebra, right? So mm -hmm. it's the same concept. Okay. All right. So I think we should just like let's do, do some. some examples. Hey, that's the one we just did. So that was easy, right? So it's CH4. Let's just look at it more uh, graphically. Here okay. we have one carbon. Yep. One carbon. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do my H's. I got four H's, and on this side I have uh, two H's right here. Yeah. That's not good. Nope. So I'm going to change the coefficient. coefficient. Put a two in front. I got this little line here to help us kind of know where to put the line. And that gives me a total of four hydrogens on this side. Yep, the two times the and two. And my carbons were good. Now let's do the oxygens. On this oxygen, on the right side, I have oxygens here. Now, I have only three oxygens on this side, Mr. Sanders. No. What do you mean? You have four. How do you get four? 
Because the two on the coefficient of water d applies to the oxygen in yeah. the water. Important to note, guys, O2, that's two, but this two right here multiplies the water by two. It's like right. a parenthesis, if you will. Yeah, it's like so distributing. It's a distributing, yeah. So there are actually two oxygens in two different water molecules. So hence you have four O's, and to fix that, you'll put a two here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Let's do another one. All right. Ca plus N2 makes Ca3N2. Okay. Okay. The C, I got one Ca. That's good. Mm -hmm. But oh, you got it's not three good. on the right. Oh, well, I'll just put a three right here. Yeah. That works. Okay. okay. And I got N2, and I've got N2. The end. That's good. You know, one thing I like to do, guys, and just when you're first learning to balance equations, I think it's in. actually good to put the ones in. Yep. Um, later on, maybe you can just leave those out, but I think it's a wise thing to do that, mm -hmm. just to kind of learn how to do that. So it's 3, 1, 1. Yeah. And actually, on our test, probably when we have you balance equations, we'll probably have you put the ones in. Yeah. Just to illustrate that. Okay. We've already done that we just one. Just did that one. Yeah. Is this is a duplicate slide. Must have. Oh, here wow. we go. Here's a third one. We'll just do this one down here. All right. So potassium chlorate is what this is. Yep. Okay. My K's. K one there. One and one. Hey, that's good. That that's is good. good. CL uh -huh. one and one. Yay. We are rocking. Yes, sir. Oxygen three and uh, two. Oh, okay. Three and two, guys. If you ever have three and two, yeah. Make them both six. Yep. Gotta make always because six. six is the least lowest common multiple, multiple of three mm -hmm. and two. So what do you mean by so? So I'm going to make this a six right now. No, here. no, you don't change that number. You only put coefficients. Yes, I can only put something in the box up here. So to make that a six, I have to make that a two. Yeah. And to make this a six, I have to make that a three. But Mr. Sam's, that kind of screwed me up, though. Yeah, I messed up your K's I, and I had CLs. The K's and the CL's were happy. Now they're, like, unhappy. Yeah, well, we can fix that with a Now, how many K's easily. and CL's do I have? There's two get... K's and two CL's there. So if I put a two here, it fixes it. Yeah, you're it? done. Yeah. You see, you just try to get them to balance out. 